Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and I am fully refreshed and back after a little short vacation I took with my wife for our 10 year wedding anniversary to Paris. It was great and all, but up until the end where she got her phone stolen, so that kinda sucked. Back to what we were just talking about. For the past couple of weeks, I've been getting a lot of messages about bus error running wine on Raspberry Pi 4. So I decided to take a little bit of time to t look into that to see if I get Raspberry Pi 4 working with our x86 environment. So let's get started. Spoiler alert, I did manage to get Wine working on Raspberry Pi 4, which is a big bonus. If you do want to download the image, it is up on my Patreon. And if you're already Patreon members, you could download it along with my Windows 10 image and a couple of videos that I don't have up on YouTube. If you're not a part of my Patreon, that's fine. If you follow through this video, you should be able to get it to work on your Raspberry Pi 4 as well. So to get started, I did download the latest version of Buster for my Raspberry Pi 4, and then I followed the tutorial. I'll leave a link up here and on the description below on what I did to get the x86 going, which is the same as my previous video. After going through all the steps, um, it indeed throw a bus error. So I wasn't able to get past that. I did spend a little bit more time trying to figure out what I can do to bypass that bus error, but no, that bus error keeps showing up. And if you guys know what a bus error is, it's basically a memory allocation problem. I mean, it, it's, it's memory that it can't find, so it, it's not available and that's why it throws a bus error. I mean, there's more elaborate way of saying it, but I just shortened it down. So I decided to take the same image and run it on my Raspberry Pi 3 just to see if it was a kernel issue or a board issue or something along that line. But when I threw it into my Raspberry Pi 3, I was getting the same exact issue with the bus error. So yeah, it's gotta be something with either the kernel that is built or the operating system at this point. So I decided to go all the way back from the beginning and start from scratch. So I have old image which is stretch and i installed it into my raspberry pi 3 and ran through the whole steps and through no surprise it worked very well i was able to get wine working i was able to get um x86 applications that i was having issues with before it, it worked very well on raspberry pi 3 with my same tutorial on stretch and that really leads me to think since i had to compile the kernel to the latest kernel which is 419 and the raspberry pi 4 buster was using 419 it wasn't really a kernel issue. It had to do something either with the operating system, the software, or something along that line. So what I ended up doing next was compiling the kernel for Raspberry Pi 4 onto Stretch and all the modules and DTS or DBS, I forgot what it is, onto the board. Then I booted it up on our Raspberry Pi 4. When I did all that, I thought it was gonna work, but it actually would not even boot up into Stretch. So I'm thinking maybe it won't work. And then when I compared the boot files compared to the 4 and the 3 that I have, it's missing the start x4 or start 4x and it's missing a fix up 4. So after I transferred those files over, Raspberry Pi 4 was able to boot up. So that was great. As soon as I got it to boot up, I was playing around just to make sure that everything was operational. It does work and I wasn't having any issues. I was able to open the browser and everything. So I just proceeded to test out Wine on Raspberry Pi 4. And guess what? It works on the stretch image using the kernel and everything works. I did a little bit of testing and I was able to get everything working. If you see a little bit of error messages here and there, that's because I'm missing a couple of packages that I should install, but I didn't. But otherwise, I managed to get the Raspberry Pi 4 working with Wine using the stretch image. Now, um, there's more steps that I could take probably to push it to Buster, maybe a distro upgrade and push it to Buster and see if it would break. But at this point in time, I know that everything's working on the three and the four on the same image as stretch. I decided to, this is the image that I actually cloned and I uploaded to my Patreon. If you can see, here's the side-by-side -side comparison when I'm loading the same program, which is LeafPad. And you can see the Raspberry Pi 4 does load faster than Raspberry Pi 3, obviously, because it's a faster processor. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to actually do some full-on programs with this, or maybe a game or two using Wine. I will be playing around with this a little bit more. So the tutorial breaks down to this. Basically, get an old stretch image, uh, compile the kernel so it supports 3G slash 1G, which is a part of my tutorial. Install the whole thing like it is on my tutorial as well, on my other tutorial, and compile the Raspberry Pi 4 kernel into it, transfer the start x start 4x and the start 4 or the and the fix up 4. Once you transfer those over to a boot folder, it should be able to boot into the Raspberry Pi 4. So in conclusion, it wasn't too hard to put this together. I just had to try a lot of different methods. Here is also all the version numbers that works on Wine on Raspberry Pi 3. It's listed right here. I don't, on the Raspberry Pi 4, I know it's different versions, but I'm not sure if these versions 
they probably patched something that caused it to break or is it the actual operating system so e between either one of those uh, um, I'm there's gonna be a little bit more testing then we should be able to figure out what is the cause or what is the culprit causing this bus error in the Raspberry Pi 4 and my original thought was the RAM I thought it was the RAM that was giving the issue because these boards have 1 gig 2 gig and 4 gig and maybe it's somewhere embedded into a system that it's supposed to read only 4 gigs or 1 gig or something like that and I thought it was causing an issue but it wasn't it's ultimately I think is somewhere with the software or the operating system all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this or have an idea or maybe what a technique or something we could try to make it work on Buster hit up in the comments as well uh, on my next video, I will be announcing the winners for the Raspberry Pi 4 on my previous video. I was actually waiting for uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 desktop kit to come in to do that video, but it's been a while and I kind of need to get this out there. So yeah, if you haven't already, go check out that video, hit it in the comments over there as well. So you could still join up and subscribe for the giveaway. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.